We have an update to a whistleblower story we've been following for a few weeks now. A map bus vehicle that drivers claim was making them so sick they had to go to the hospital is now planning to be retired. It's a story you first saw, only saw here on Valley News Live. And as Anna Ballweber reports, now more employees are coming to us looking for help. There seems to be a culture of, of unsafe stuff. It's been two weeks since Matt Bus employees came to us expressing safety concerns. After two Fargo drivers claimed to get sick from their bus fumes, the company is finally retiring that bus. They are holding, holding that bus. Um, so they are, they're taking it seriously, but it took, you know, it took your news story to make them do that. In our previous story, the two explained how they became hospitalized from the possible fumes, alleging Matt Bus not taking those concerns seriously. It's, it's been most, kept quiet for drivers. two months. Our boss hasn't checked on us once. Mm -mm. They were out of work for months, but are hoping to be back soon. They were starting to maybe come around, but it was way too slow. And once, once your story came out, it kicked it into high gear and something was done immediately. But, you know, obviously that's not ideal and it's not, not uh, conducive to safe work environment for anybody. Now employees are concerned for different safety practices. They say incidents go unreported, communication is poor, and staff complaints are rarely addressed. And it seems to take a lot to get something to change, and especially when it comes to safety. I reached out to Matt Bus the first time around, and they simply stated they were investigating the smell. I reached out again today, and I have yet to hear back. Reporting in Fargo, Anna Ballweber, Valley News Live. Remember, if you need help with an issue in your community, you can call our whistleblower hotline. The number is on your screen, 701-369-3187. Again, 701-369-3187. Just leave your tip. We'll do our best to get the bottom of it. Still ahead.